Hello friends, welcome back to the lecture series on linear differential equation. In today's module, we discuss about the symmetric simultaneous differential equation. So, symmetric simultaneous differential equation is nothing but system of differential equation which is symmetric in nature. So, here the general form is for symmetric simultaneous differential equation bx upon p where p is function of x y z equal to dy upon q again q is function of x y z equal to dz upon r where r is function of x y z where x y z are the dependent variables and they depend on some independent variable say t. So, to solve symmetric simultaneous differential equation, we need to find two solution which satisfies these three ratios. So, to simplify the symmetric simultaneous equation, there are mainly two method of solving. First one is method of grouping. And second one is method of Lagrange's multiplier. Lagrange's method of multipliers. So, first we discuss about method of grouping. So, in method of grouping, what we do is we consider any two ratios we can consider first and second ratio or first and third ratio or second and third ratio so that we can convert the selection in variable separable form. So, after converting those equations in variable separable form, we simply take the integration and find one solution. Then, to find second linearly independent solution, we try to obtain the ratio such that which will lead us to variable separable form. So, let us take one example on it. So, how to solve examples. So, first, let us take example number 1. Suppose our differential equation given. Let us take one problem which is asked in university question papers. x dx upon y cube into z equal to dy upon x square into z equal to dz upon y cube. If we go through the question paper, this question asked in December 2012. So, let us solve. First, we observe the differential equation. If we observe the first ratio, it contains variable z as well as x and y. Same is the case with second ratio contains variable z. If we equate first and third ratio, then z can be eliminated from the denominators and we can convert these two ratios in variable separable form quite easily. So, first we take the first ratio x dx upon y cube z is equal to dy upon x square z. After cancelling z from both sides, we can rewrite it as x cube into dx equal to y cube into dy. So, this is our variable separable form. So, 
therefore on integration of both sides we can simplify these ratios therefore on integration this implies x raised to 4 upon 4 equal to y raised to 4 upon 4 plus c1 where c1 is constant of integration so we can rewrite x raised to 4 minus y raised to 4 is equal to c1 star so we can call this as equation number 1 which will give us the solution number 1 for given differential equation so this is the first solution that we obtained now again we go back to the given differential equation and we select the another ratio so if we equate first ratio and third ratio then y cube can be cancelled from denominator and we can convert into variable separable form in terms of variables x and z therefore now we consider so we take let the ratio x be x upon y cube into z equal to bz upon y cube so after cancelling y cube from both sides we can rewrite the equation as x into dx equal to z into dz therefore on integration of both sides since it is in variable separable form we get x square upon 2 minus z square upon 2 equal to c2 star so this will be the second required solution in first solution we obtained variables x and y in second solution we obtained variables x and z so both are linearly independent therefore from 1 and 2 equations x raised to 4 minus y raised to 4 equal to c1 star and x square minus z square equal to c2 star these are the required solution of given simultaneous equation so in this way we have solved one problem now let's take one more example so example number two on method of grouping so question is solve x upon y equal to dy upon minus x equal to dz upon x into e raised to x square plus y square. So here, if we observe first and second ratio in the given symmetric simultaneous differential equation, it contains variable x and y only. So if we equate first two ratios, that is dx upon is equated to minus dy upon x, it is already in variable separable form since it contains only two variables. So we can rewrite it as x into dx equal to minus y times dy. Therefore, on integration of both sides, we get x square upon 2 plus y square upon 2 equal to c1 star we call it as x square plus y square equal to c1 and we denote it by equation number one so this is the required solution number one now if we use x square plus y square equal to c1 in the third ratio therefore third ratio dz upon x into e raised to x square plus y square can be written as dz upon x into e raised to c1. Now we equate this ratio dz upon x into e raised to c1 with 
the ratio is t1 upon minus x so that we can cancel this x from both sides. Therefore, we can rewrite the function as z is equal to minus times e raised to c1 into b1. So, this is your variable separable form. Therefore, on integration of both sides, b. Therefore, on integration, we get z plus y into e raised to c1 is equal to constant of integration c2. We can rewrite it as z plus y into e raised to c1 is x square plus y square equal to c2. So, this is your solution number 2. Therefore, from 1 and 2, that is x square plus y square equal to c1 and z plus y into e raised to x square plus y square equal to c2, these two will form the required solutions of given symmetric simultaneous differential equation. So, in this way we can use the first solution to obtain the second solution for given symmetric simultaneous equation. Thank you.